But if an Arnold win was inevitable, where was the drama? Where was the conflict? Every movie hero has to show his stuff by pushing up against an obstacle. Butler had to find it. I wanted to find a great antagonist for Arnold, and there was Louis Ferrigno in Brooklyn, New York, 6'8", 270, dark and foreboding. Muscle Magazine publisher Joe Weider had already had his eye on Ferrigno. For Weider, the old story Arnold Wins Again was growing stale. But a Mr. Olympia showdown between Lou and Arnold? This was perfect. And exactly the kind of rivalry that sells magazines. He won the Mr. 